Lydia Days Off by Connect TV, proudly sponsored by ESBC Boxing Game, and I'm delighted to be joined by a victorious and still Commonwealth featherweight champion backstage here at the Macron Stadium in Bolton at Fight Zone, Nathaniel Collins. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, on top of the world right now, so yeah. Listen, we done our uh, post-fight interview for Fight Zone. Now, so we have to pretend like we just met and we have to do it again. But listen, a tough opponent in there. You said in your interview uh, uh, for Fight Zone, he had a tough head. <laughs> a tough head. His head was like punching a concrete block, honestly. I came back after the second, I said to Joe, this guy's, my hands are hurting here. Yeah, like the first knockdown that you got him with, you almost gave him life again. Like he got like a little bit more yeah, active as soon as that. You know, uh, how do you feel when you knock him down? Do you have to stay patient or is that chase for the finish always there? Yeah. I would say that's my own inexperience. Like once I knocked him down, I let him get close. Whereas when I was boxing my fight, it was, it was easy or I could do what I wanted. As yeah. soon as I knocked him down, I was like, whoa, I need to take this guy out. Like I say, I'm, a, I'm like a eager for the finish so that was my own inexperience I should have sat back a bit but I just didn't want it made a cover so absolutely like listen the the Commonwealth title won that in such a spectacular fashion to come out now and to do this to put him away in your first title defense that's we always find that the first title defense is when the kind of casual boxing fans take notice they're like oh okay what do we want to do now pushing forward like what's left for you to achieve um just whatever management says I'm literally game for anything you know what I mean I just want to keep pushing on and pushing on that's only my ninth fight um, and nobody really knew who I was and, and they're going to sit up and take notice now so whatever's next I'll, I'll take it um, whatever route I don't really care I'm not like oh let's go traditional let's do this do that the Commonwealth came up I'd never fought a 12 rounder before um, I'd never even been scheduled for one and I was like yep take it right away first fight after lockdown 18 months out so I'm not like hanging back or anything I don't care about a loss, I don't care about anything, I, I want good, big, hard fights, I want people to see what I'm made of, if it's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, if it's boxing, I want to mix it up and just, anything next, just give me anything. <laughs> Is that, in your opinion, what fighters need to do in this sport? Be ready, stay ready, fight anyone and take the challenges? Absolutely, a prime example was Porter at the weekend, like, the fighter's fighter, will fight anyone, nobody's going to badmouth Porter and the resume he's got, so if I came out here and I fight anybody, You've got the featherweight division in Britain as unreal. You've got Lee Wood, Mick Conlon. You've got all the big boys kind of floating about, and it's all in the UK. Galahad just got obviously stopped. Kiko Martinez is holding the IBF. Any of the people, I can go any route there, and and it's all in the UK. It's doable fights. So I don't, I, I'm not going to be the guy that sits back and goes, "Oh, they guys might be too inexperienced, or they guys might be experienced, or they guys might have this or that." I don't think that. I'm confident in my abilities. So if I go out and box and put performances like that on, when I start hitting people, they know, you know. Absolutely, and listen, like you mentioned, I mean, all those names that you mentioned, UK boxing has always been popular. It's always been the one where people keep the eyes on. But it seems right now there is a lot of eyes in the UK. There's a lot of great talent in the UK, especially in your division of featherweights, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's booming in the UK. There's there's like three or four feather super featherweights who are jumping up and down tonight. Like I've been sparring all up and down the country. Everyone you spar seems to be featherweight. Like there's people I was in the amateurs with who are at the same stage as me, like floating about. 10 and 11 in the, in the rankings, so it's like, it's so stacked, there's, there's literally, you couldn't even know have a fight if you wanted it, you know what I mean, everybody's there, so. Absolutely, well listen, I'll let you get changed, I know there's a couple of different outlets here who want to speak to you, congratulations again, Nathaniel Collins for Fight Connect TV. Thank you.